everybody. We hope you. you're all doing well. I got a new shirt. Yay, Walmart. Not, Not today, today, Satan. Satan. <laughs> Amen. Well, this is the, the shirt goes perfectly with the song we're going to play. We're doing Wanderer, and the theme of Wanderer is being armed with strength by the Lord. Even when the foe sounds the battle call, the Lord is our shield and our right hand, and he will give our hearts strength so that we don't faint in the battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Well, today I have a couple of things to share. The Bible says that narrow is the path that leads to life, and few there are that find it. Difficult is the road to life. And the song Wanderer tells us about our condition, and that is that we are just passing through. This is not our home. We have a CD called Almost Home, and the, that's the theme on a lot of that CD. This Wanderer song is on our Harbor CD. But I just want to read a poem I wrote. Uh, it's called No Shortcuts to Holiness. And it, I wrote the, the scripture is Romans 6.22. But now, having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness and the end, everlasting life. We have to keep our eyes on the prize. It's heaven. This is not our home and this is hard. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7 tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. We need to stop with the ask Jesus into your heart and your life will be the best type of evangelism because it's not biblical. There are no shortcuts to holiness. And that's this poem I'm going to share with you. No enchanted fairy holy dust, no magical prayers, no shortcuts. The path is tough to holiness, but well worth the trek. It's a lifelong pursuit, so gear up. Prepare for the adventure. You'll need your map, the word of life, if you want to make it to the face of Christ. True Christianity is hard. There are many stumbling blocks, but better to stumble on the rock and be broken than to have the rock crush you to powder for your unyielding, stubborn heart. Listening for his voice to guide you, looking for his hand to hide you, tasting his goodness all along the way, smelling his sweet aroma permeate, feeling his manifest presence create hope to keep on keeping on. When the darkness chokes the weakened light, draw from the well of living water, offered freely to any who would call on the name of Jesus. Salvation is a lifestyle plan, not a short-term diet scam. Yo-yoing up and down 80 pounds is not God's plan for your life. On again, off again, yes, Lord, no, Lord. I surrender five twelfths. I surrender four twenty-sevenths. Only a fraction of myself to Jesus. I surrender. I surrender seven sixteenths. It's no wonder you're miserable. The pursuit of holiness demands commitment and discipline. When half-hearted devotion is all you have to offer, do not be surprised when your inner scoffer rears its wicked head, leading you to some dark days on your detour toward death. Repent in a flash. Jump back on the narrow path until you five sense his presence and skip the shortcut leading to wrath. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus, Philippians 3.14. So, good truth. I just wanted to share the psalm of, my psalm of the day was Psalm 110. And it says, the Lord, because there's a hope, and the hope is Jesus will reign on this earth. No President Trump, no President Biden, whoever becomes a president, that is not the point. No one's going to remember that in eternity. It will be a blip in humanity. And I do pray that you will understand that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and Jesus is going to reign, and he is coming, and he will come in wrath. And the fear of the Lord needs to happen in the church, mm -hmm. because... Listen to the psalm. It's only seven verses. Sure. Your people, God, the Messiah's people, shall be volunteers in the day of your power. That means free will offerings. God is looking for people who choose to be his worshipers. So many will say, no, Lord, and they will be on the outside, and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But who's Jesus looking for today? He's looking for you. And he's hoping that you will be his volunteers, that you will be his free will offerings. In what? In the beauties of holiness. You see, without holiness, no man is going to see his face. God is calling you to holiness today. From the womb of the morning, Rakam, God's love, his beautiful love, that word womb. You have the dew of your youth. The Lord has sworn and will not relent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You see, Jesus is not like other priests. He is the highest priest. 
He is not of this earth. He is of eternity, and he will reign. The Lord is at your right hand. Now listen, this is some serious stuff that's coming when Jesus returns. It's going to be judgment. It's going to be wrath. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be awful. And here it is. The Lord is at your right hand. He shall execute kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the nations. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall execute the heads of many countries. He shall drink of the brook by the wayside. Therefore, he shall lift up the head. Okay, that's hope and in wrath and in judgment. This is tough stuff, but this is in the book. People are ignoring the book. Christians, we can't ignore the book. This is what it says. God is calling us to come and to serve him. Be willing volunteers. Your enemies are going to get judged, all your problems, and it's the devil and all of his friends. And sometimes people choose to be the devil's friends. Are you on team devil or are you on team Jesus? It's time to pick. It's going to get very, very ugly on the end when he returns. Be on the narrow path that leads to life. I exhort you today. There is only one priest, and it's Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords. Will you be his volunteer? Hmm. Amen. And we're going to do this last little ditty. It's called The Musical Priest. And I dedicate it to my favorite priest, the high priest, King Jesus, Messiah, who will return and who will reign. And he will rule with a rod of iron. And time is short, so please, church repent first. Mm -hmm. But world, people who don't know the Lord, it is time to get right with him. Amen. His way is the way. And time's running out. Mm -hmm. You don't have much more time. Amen.